Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at what I think is an interesting pen. Interesting pens uh, because they are affordable and they come in an interesting range of nib options. Now this pen, interesting story, uh, I uh, chatted with the makers of this pen in Nuremberg in the, uh, the uh, uh, Insights X expo they have there, a sort of stationary thing. I've, I've done a video on, uh, on my experiences there. And this is one of those pens. I got this pen from Joost Appelboom as a Christmas present. Thank you, Joost. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, etc. And Joost now carries them, appelboom.com. Always interesting. Check out my website because there is a discount code you can use on that website should you want to pick one up. Okay, what makes them so interesting? Well, as I said, currently 24.90, so under 25 euros. That's pretty affordable for a fountain pen. And you get for that a number of pens. They come in a simple box, so don't expect a super fancy box, but you do get a pen that writes. And they come in six interesting colors. There's also a green, etc. You can check all that for yourself. I have two here, a white one, and a red one. And then there's also inks. So Super 5 also has their own inks. Nib ranges, interesting. They go for about from 0.5 millimeters to 1.5 millimeters. So those are italic nibs. And one of those is a broad, um, but very interesting because you don't see that many 1.5 millimeter italics on pens especially I think at this price. There's calligraphy pens like the Lamy Joy etc but those are longer pens that look a bit like, bit like desk pens. Here's an actual fountain pen, just a regular fountain pen but with a fascinating nib option. So I'm going to cover the past the pen tear, what I like about it, what I don't like about it and then I'll do a writing sample. I'm going to pick this Stormtrooper-esque uh, black and white pen. Let's start at the top of the pen, the finial. You know what, this is a white background, doesn't make sense. I'm going to, to use the red one. So here we have the finial, nothing going on there. Then we have a clip, simple clip, metal ring with the, with the clip. Uh, you can see that's folded metal, so it's, it's a simple design. Um, the clip is very flexible. And this top finial, yes, for those of you, because I know people are going to ask, it does unscrew. So it's, it's a simple, you know, it's, it's a simple model. Um, I have the pen, this one happens to be stickered still, um, but right there it says Super 5. Uh, then we have a little, yeah, call it a blind cap at the end there. It's not really a blind cap though because you, you can unscrew it, but, but there's nothing in there. It's just a little uh, thing. So that, that, that doesn't really have any function. Cap pops off. Interesting! Plastic body, plastic cap, metal section, black, and I think they're black on every pen because the, the white one has a black section as well. Um, so there we have that. Tapered ribs, little flare out there, and then a steel nib, which was to be expected at that price. Uh, it says Super 5. There is a converter in the pen. You can also use cartridges if you want to, and that's pretty much all there's to it. Size of the pen, pretty decent size, not huge, pretty standard pen size I would say. And if you want to, you can also post it, uh, and the pens post fairly deeply, which I always enjoy because then you don't have a cap sticking out all the way up there when you have it posted. So it's, it's actually a, a nicely sized pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I like the price, 25 euros, that's not that bad. And, and I mean, notwithstanding any uh, discounts you, you may get, uh, but I, I don't think that's a bad price. I mean, you, you get an affordable writing instrument, and I have to admit, they wrote. Out of the box, they wrote. So that's a nice thing. I also like that you have six colors. Uh, I was told, uh, I don't know, what stage of development that is. I was told in Nuremberg that they're working on flex nibs. That would be very interesting because people go absolutely berserk over flex nibs. So if, if Super 5 can um, do that, then I think that's going to be very popular. Um, I like that. So I like the affordability. I like the overall look and feel of the pen. Um, it's nice. It's affordable. It, it works. 
things I don't like about it so much. Well, from a design perspective, it's interesting to have a plastic barrel and a metal uh, section because that makes it very, I'm going to say top heavy, whether it's the top of the pen or not, but I mean the weight of the pen is there, not there. So that does mean that if you hold it, there is nothing going on there, but everything is there. So in a way that kind of makes it right by itself. I don't mind that so much, but it is an interesting discrepancy between a super light barrel and really a fairly heavy section because it's it's pretty solid. That's something that you'll have to try for yourself to see if it, if it works for you. My biggest issue with the pens is one that is definitely considered nitpicking. But the finish on the pens is not perfect. And you see that in, in, in small ways. I just unscrewed this top thing in the cap. Now, of course, a sane person wouldn't do that, but I do. Um, you have the clip. Yeah, the clip. I'll try to show you here. There is a little cutout on top of the cap. You see it right there. See, there's a little cutout. That cutout is usually there to make a clip flush. Uh, into the, uh, the the cap, but it doesn't work here because the cutout is much narrower than the clip is. So it looks like a different clip was put on here, a completely different part, and then they assembled it like this. Is that a, an enormously big deal? Not really, because you don't see it because it's blocked by the clip. I'm just pointing out that that is one thing that's you know it's that's there that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you don't see it. What you do see is the finish on this end cap. This is not flush. In this, on this side, the barrel sticks out further than the, the blind cap does, and on the other side, the blind cap sticks out further than the barrel does. So, instead of the two being perfectly aligned, they're kind of like this. Is that a big deal? Maybe. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, it's a 25 euro pen. So you can't really expect the fit and finish of a 500 euro pen. I've also seen 500 euro pens that have a fairly poor fit and finish. So I'm not trying to complain. What I'm saying is you have to look at a pen for its value and for what it's worth. I don't think this is a deal breaker because you you get a pen. I mean, imagine getting a 1.5 millimeter italic. Uh, that's a broad italic that you can definitely use for calligraphy purposes for 25 euros. So it's not that big a deal. The pens are not perfect yet. But one thing is crucial. They're right. That's what you buy the pen for, and I've not really had any issues with these pens writing. Even with the, I have a, I think a 0.7 millimeter italic nib on there, and it writes. So that I find very, very positive. So I think what we need to do is see the pen in action. That's what coming up, what's coming up next. Yoast, thank you for the Christmas present. I appreciate it. Measurements of the pen, as well as high-resolution pictures, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. And that's all there's to it. Hope this was useful so far. And I'll super five. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. With the super five. So this skip, I think I caused by the paper sticking up a little bit. Okay, this is the broad nib, and this is uh, Sailor Sky High. I'll show you the uh, 0.7 millimeter stub in a second. I'm going to exchange converters then, um, just so you know. But there we have it. I'll start with the broad. A very hard nib. It's very rigid. It does not really uh, move. Yield as you write. Move was a completely wrong word. Sorry. It doesn't really yield so the the tines stick together and they don't slightly open which make, doesn't make it very bouncy writing but very rigid. And some people really like that. What I like is that this nib out of the box has a good ink flow. It's hard but it's pretty smooth and it writes flawlessly. No skips, nothing. Also, I find this a pretty reasonable broad 
some nib manufacturers tend to overmarket their nibs a bit, but this is on the broad side of things. At the very least, a very good fat medium, but I don't like I don't dislike this so much. Wetness, no complaints. Line variation, not that much. There is some. As I said, it's a pretty robust, uh, rigid nib. Reverse writing is possible. Nice wet nib, so that will definitely work. Okay, as I said that, I'm quickly changing sections here. And there we go. Okay, now this is <clears throat> the 0.7 millimeter stub slash italic. I'm going to call it a stub because I don't find these corners to be extremely sharp. Nice thing about a stub is that it's a fast way to nicer handwriting. Just because of the way it's shaped, it gives a sort of fake calligraphic effect. And that can really make your handwriting look nice. I'm not saying it does that for mine, but for yours it may. Apart from that, I mean, fast writing and all that is going to perform the same as the broad nib. It's These nibs are nice, they're wet, the, the feeds are good, so I mean, there's, there's not, nothing bad there. Um, what's most interesting, of course, is the line variation. Of course, with a, a nice stub or italic, you get some line variation. So there's absolutely no pressure here. Same amount of pressure going up, going down. That's what she said. Um, and um, you see there is a nice natural bit of line variation so that that makes for a very nice pleasant writing experience and definitely a fun thing to add to your handwriting especially in the 0.7 millimeter range I mean for wide italic nibs 1.1 1.3 1.5 etc definitely are broad and not everyone can use them but I think 0.7 let's see what happens if you have microscopic handwriting that's really, really tiny, um, but I think you can get away with this, and it it does have that that nice line variation that you get without any pressure. So it does do something for your handwriting. So there we go. Thank you, Yoast, for this Christmas gift. I appreciate it, guys. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.